Hi guys, welcome to Handmade with Tara. I'm Tara, I am a stay-at-home mom to three beautiful boys and a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator. And tonight I have for you the With Love and Gratitude September 2023 Paper Pumpkin. So a Paper Pumpkin is a subscription box and in the catalog, the annual catalog for this year from May 2023 to April 2024, you can find the uh, Paper Pumpkin Paper Pumpkin subscription page on page 13. And it shows you right here, month to month, pay as you go. Or you can do a prepaid subscription for one month, three months, six months, or a year. Or you can do the continuous month to month, and that saves a little bit on shipping. So if you're interested in this, you can find all this on my website, taragolem.stampinup.com. Dot net. I'm so sorry. TaraGolem.StampinUp.net And I'm just going to jump right into this box tonight and we'll see what we have in here tonight. So every paper pumpkin box that you get will come with a color. A uh, Stampin' Spot and this one is Lost Lagoon. And then it also comes with the stamps that you need in order to complete the projects. So it looks like this is a gratitude box. So thank you, grateful for you, thanks. And with love and gratitude and for you are the sentiments. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this out of here. Set this aside. So, and these are the instructions for this paper pumpkin kit. So, it's really awesome having these on hand for random um, things that you maybe forgot or have coming up in a month. So, like the month subscription is great because month to month you're going to get something and it's always a surprise what you're going to get. And I like to have them on hand for um, birthdays or holidays or if something comes up for one of my kids or anniversaries or something like that. Then I have uh, cards that I can go to easily and make them. And let's see. This looks cool. These are some little gift bags. Little thank you gift bags and then some sweet note cards with some pumpkins. So... Um, and every box will come with everything that you need to complete it. So I like to set everything out and see what I have. So they did give me some tear and tape adhesive to put everything together. Oh, and they give me some glue dots. So those are awesome. And they always give you more than enough. So you can always use them on other projects and oh these are so cool the little gift bags these and the little note cards and envelopes that match and some mini dimensionals so this is pretty awesome all right let's see let me just show you, this is a beginner series, so the paper pumpkin boxes are totally beginner friendly, and you're gonna see just how easy once I start putting this together. Typically, so I'm just gonna follow this step by step. I'm gonna take the Lost Lagoon, and then this is with love and gratitude on a little tag and stamp this flower all around the edges of that. So I'm going to need this note card. I'm gonna need a little sentiment tag. I'm going to also need the stamps. And your first paper pumpkin box will come with a block, but as you level up, you will acquire your own blocks. And this is a D block, which is the universal size of the different blocks that they use. Uh, this one I'd say is the most used, the D block. 
Um, and it fits these perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. And I'm actually going to also get my sentiment on a block as well. So the paper pumpkin blocks are smaller. So this one's my paper pumpkin block that came with my kit. And again, it's a D block. So the same size as this block here, um, but they're a little bit thinner. And we're just gonna put with love and gratitude on here so that we have that ready to go and then also as you level up obviously you're going to move up from the stampin spots to actual stamp pads and the stamp pads are awesome um i have ink i have stamping up ink pads that i've had since 2008 that still work so it's definitely last, built to last. Um, okay, so this is the stampin' spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this sentiment right here on this tag and get started here. So. I'm gonna go ahead, get that really nice and inked up. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press that down right here on the middle of this tag. And there you go. Clean that off with my Simply Shammy. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is do the flowers along the edges here. So I'm gonna get this, ink it up. So just because it's a little bit easier, I'm gonna turn the stamp over like this so that I can ink this up really nice. And I'm just doing light taps. Tap, 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 tap. Light taps all the way around. And then I'm going to, I'm actually gonna lay a piece of paper underneath this because I'm going to stamp off the edges. So, there's the middle. And so they did up here. And then I'm gonna do it again. Do it down here. And last time I'm going to do just this little corner here. off with my Simply Shammy, set that aside. I'm going to use my bone folder. Let me just grab my bone folder. So this is also just an extra tool that helps me get this to lay down flat so that I can work with the front here. And I'm going to need some Golden leaves. Looks like I'm gonna need this little one here. Golden leaves, set that aside. And then I'm gonna need a couple of these pumpkins. And also these leaves. So in all of these, let's see, the this one is going to be using the glue dots and so I'm going to use my take your pick tool so I can scoop these up really easily. So obviously if you do it all the time, investing in some of these extra tools just helps save time. 
so you can move quickly as you level up your skills. So you can also use your fingers to grab these glue dots. Your fingernails work just as fine. It's just easier for me. Just have my take your pick tool. All right, so there's step one. I'm gonna also put some glue dots on the back of these leaves here. And, oops. Just a couple of glue dots on there and then just like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of layer this over this just like that. And then these are gonna get popped up on dimensionals. So they gave us many dimensionals. So I'm just gonna use these, put it on the back of the big one. I'm gonna put it on the back of the little one as well. And then they used glue dots on the back of the sentiment. So I'm just going to put a couple of Let's see if there we can see that a little bit better on the black. You can see what I'm working with here. As, I'm clean, as I go through, I try to clean and make sure that I'm not leaving a bunch of glue dots and dimensional trash everywhere. These things do end up everywhere. So I'm going to put that pumpkin right there, right in the middle. Off of that pumpkin, we're going to put this little one. And he's going to come down here. Just don't make, just make sure that it doesn't go over the edge of the card so that you don't have to worry about it not fitting in the envelope. So you can also do this with your take your pick tool, but I'm just showing you, you can also do it with your fingernail, pulling that glue dot trash off. And then this part is just going to go right up here with love and gratitude. Again, don't let it go off the edge of the cord or it won't fit into the envelope. And that is the first card. And that one's done. So now, match it up with an envelope and you're ready to send this to someone, thank someone very simply and easily. And uh, beautiful. I love the color. I love this Lost Lagoon color. It's very beautiful. So that is card number one. So now we're going to go to the boxes. So here is the box. It's showing you that you're going to use the tear and tape to build the box. So we're going to start. We're going to grab our tear and tape. All right, and we're gonna grab our first box here. So, and then I like to set it up exactly how they have it. So they have, if you do it this way, let's see. Looks like it's starting this way. 
holding this part up here like this. We'll give it a go, okay? I could totally be wrong on this, but I think this is what I'm supposed to do. So tear and tape super easy. Boom. And then you tear it off. Then we're going to do a little bit on this flap here. Just like this. Then we're going to, it looks like, we're going to flip it and we're going to put it right here on the end of this piece here like so. Looks like we're going to use some dimensionals, two dimensionals, oops, and put those on the inside flap here, like this. Okay, so that is step one. Then for step two, I'm going to grab another one of these tags here. And we're going to put thank you on this one. So I can grab this off. These are photopolymer stamps, so you can easily pull these off and on. And you can use them over and over and over again. You don't have to have different blocks for every sentiment, which is really nice. You can reuse the same block for all of your stamping, which is awesome. So I'm just doing light taps all the way across. Get that nice and... Then we're gonna press that down in the middle here. Clean this off. And I can go ahead and put this back. Over here. And then for the next step, I'm gonna need some more of this gold. So I'm gonna use the bigger piece now. Bigger piece. And we're going to also use this little vine here. There we go. It's already perforated for you, so you don't have to worry about that. So I have these two, and they're going to overlap each other like this. And we're just going to use some glue dots to connect them. So we're going to, looks like we put a couple on the front of this one, two, one, three, like that, and then two, Here we go, just like that. And then I'm actually going to turn this over add a couple more glue dots on here at the stem. Like this. Boom. Boom. And we're going to add a couple of dimensionals on the back of the thank you. So we're just going to go boom. 
all the way across. All right, so now we are going to build this little box. So this is going to end up folding down like that. Right? So we're going to use the tearing tape. Get it all to attach on this side. Okay. So let's see. So this, this is going to go down first. And first. Okay, so both of those go down first, and then this one comes over it like this, and this. And that tearing tape is pretty strong, so make sure you line it up properly. I'm going to try again. And then, so that's the bottom which is easy enough, and then I'm just gonna make sure those flaps are down on the inside. And then this is going to fold in like this. And these are gonna come down here. Like like that and then this is going to end up going on the front here just like that and lastly we're just going to put the sentiment on thank you right across the leaves like so so project one, project two, totally simple, very, very beginner friendly, and so much fun, especially if you have somebody to do this with and you are making projects like this together. It's a really wonderful way to connect um, and, um, and then share beautiful projects and kindness with others. So I hope that you liked this uh, very easy beginner friendly paper pumpkin box. And um, if you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I have a video tutorial for beginners every month and I try to also do a advanced class that has um, new stamp sets that have just come out and I tried to show you a couple of projects that you can do with them. And uh, so if you are subscribed, then you will get notified when I do post new videos. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you again. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.